Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all of my friends here. Thank you for coming for uh, our bite-sized blended learning workshop for semester 2, 2020-2021. Uh, that as you know that every early semester come and faculty will organize this bite-sized uh, blended learning workshop to uh, help or to encourage or to share some uh, information about um, ELIP and other um, tools that we can use in online learning. Okay, so this slide is only is short because I will use uh, the uh, ELIP and other website straight away after this. So this is the agenda for today. So first one, I will explain uh, because as you all know that ELIP now has um, uh, they have they have upgraded to the new uh, Moodle platform. So have some uh, not much changing actually. So only a little bit addition and uh, perubahan sikit -sikit lah. So I have to introduce to the new ELIP features. And then after that, uh, going to designing the lecture video using three uh, tools that I think is easy to use. And then after that, uh, uh, with the Nasarudi, we explain on how to design gamification activity using class craft. Okay, okay so the, then now we go to Elite straight away. Elip, sama saja. The the link for Elip same like before. Elip dot Unimas. Uh, Elip dot Unimas dot my. Okay. So when you open the link for Elip dot Unimas dot my, so it will bring you here. And as usual, you need to uh, log in by using Unimas identity. And then, uh, because I have linked it with my Unimas identity, so it will go straight away to our Elite page. So this is the interface of our new Elite page. And uh, all the courses are listed here. Uh, okay, so if you want to get back to the previous Elite, it's very easy. You can see both up here, so but this button, click this button, and then, uh, so actually, you need to log in uh, using admin and guest. But the username and password here, you need to get it from uh, com. So what you need to do, you email to elip.unimas, elip at unimas.my, sorry, elip at unimas.my and request for uh, username and password for uh, elip vault. So, for example, I have uh, my own username. I have requested here. Okay, so when uh, I, uh, because I, I have requested, but I forgot the uh, my own password for the uh, elite vault. But if you want to assess previous uh, previous elite request, your username and password from come or just type e uh, your email to elite at unimas dot my. Here and then they will give you password. You need to use uh, the password that they give and put it here. And then log in. Do not log in by using Unimas identity, so you will not get to Unimas vault. Okay, so that is how you want to access the previous elite. So here is the step that you can follow. Okay. And also, it link to elite exam here. So when you click here, it will bring you to elite exam. So then you can log in. Uh, elite exam, you can log in by using Unimas identity. And to bring to elite exam, all of your previous elite exam are still available on the uh, website here. So all the questions for previous are also available here. Okay, so uh, 
then I will show you what are the features that have in new elite. Okay, let's say we go one of my course. So this is my course for this semester, uh, STF 2083, Scientific Communication. So the interface look like this. Actually, this is a new, uh, new elite. They're using uh, model 3.9. Previously, uh, it was 3.2. So interface a little bit different from previously. So if you want to see something uh, blocks, you can add blocks here. Uh, and see who's online and so on. So to add blocks here, you need to click uh, at your left hand side here, add a block, click this one, and then you can choose what kind of block that you want to put at your uh, right hand side. For example, I want to put um, okay. So let's say I want to put clock. Input clock. Okay. So when you click that one, it will automatically add here clock down here. Silver clock and my clock. Uh, so like this one, I add HTML blog. This one I add online users so that I can see who's uh, online uh, during this time, especially when we want to do a uh, class then uh, the activity is on ELIP. So we can put here and you can see who's uh, online and who's cannot get into the ELIP. And this is the calendar. So all the activity that I have created will be appeared on the calendar like this one. So I, the so student can see, uh, the progress here. Okay, so okay, now I want to show you what uh, in in here. So, for example, here um, they have do the same thing. Edit button for the uh, apa ini? Setiap minggu or setiap unit. So you click this one if you want to uh, put something. The new feature that I realized in the summary box here, uh, usually we can put pictures or we can put uh, word, we can type something. But now in the middle box here, I realized that they have, uh, we can also insert uh, audio or video file that we have recorded earlier, or we can record straight away. This is a button record audio. So, for example, we want to give instruction to student and we don't want to type. We just click this button, it, uh, but make sure you have microphone with your computer or laptop. So just click start recording. So it give you maximum two minutes and it will start record uh, your voice. So now it's currently recording my voice and then you can stop recording and click attach recording to here. Uh, I'm not sure you can hear it when I click hit this from this button or not. Can boleh dengar ke? Bila saya klik ni? Tak dengar. Tak dengar. Tapi what happen kalau dalam interface depan? Okay, so saya tunjuk dulu. Kalau nak bagi dengar mana nak buat mana ni? <laughs> Okay, tak apa. So let's say when this one we have record, so we save, it can appear like this because this is only audio, so it appear like this. Okay, let's say we uh, there is another one you can also record video. Okay, if you want to record audio and then let's say you want to put a picture or something. This is example. Okay, so example. For example, you uh, choose one video and uh, one one picture or anything that you want to explain by audio letter, and then upload. Okay. If you want, if you want this uh, to appear in the in a uh, center in the middle, just click here. And then you want to include the audio, your voice. 
just click record uh, right in desktop recording attach file with like this okay so how it will appear on the on ellipse is look like this so student will uh, hear our voice here our audio uh, and another one let's say we want to record our own video there has uh, it has a video rec uh, a record video button here so we click this button and then we can start record our own video okay because now um webex is using the uh, the video my cameras so i need to stop the camera on webex all right So uh, when we have finished recording, attach record our uh, video here, and then if we change, uh, sorry, if we save, it will appear like this on our ellipse. So the first one is, is the audio. The second one is our video. So this uh, uh, some of the new uh, features that available on Elite in case we don't want to type, we don't want to give instruction like writing, so we can use audio or video. But uh, they, are, they limit uh, us to do it only two minutes for one uh, session of recording. So another one that they have is H5P. So H5P here, um, okay, I, I don't really like using this one. There's another H5P I will show later. Okay, so uh, another new features on Elite, we can click on add and activity or resource button here. So there are uh, several new features here. So the category activities and resources. Mm. So on resources, mostly about the same like previously except they have google meet here uh, but this one actually uh, they don't link directly to the google meet but they have uh, they, they, they prepare a platform uh, so that students know that you have a um, uh, google meet button there so you need to name your room for example lecture one this example and then you need to create a uh, google meet uh, separately that means you need to open the google and uh, uh, click the google meet and then just share information from there to here like the link for url from the uh, google meet and then uh, if you want to make it uh, recurrent every week so you need to set here and set notifications uh for example a few minutes 10 minutes before uh the meeting started and then i think that's all and there is only that one so you can save and return to course so whenever student um uh, they require you are here so whenever student wants to join the the google meet uh, meeting so then they just click the link provided on the link so that resources for the new one. So if you're using uh, other tools outside Elite, you can use URL here. So it's similar like previously. Just click the external URL and give the name and then save. Okay, so activities, okay, I, I realize that they have uh, many new activities here. The assignment is similar like before. So the attendance here, so this is quite, uh, quite like it. So you can name your attendance, attendance week one, for example, attendance week one. And then, uh, great, it's up to you, either you want to give like, point or scale or no point at all uh this for attendance and then 
So common model settings. If you want to hide from student only for all uh, for your own uh, purpose to record student attendance, you can hide. If you want student to see their attendance, show on page. Uh, restrict access. Okay, so restrict access. Let's say uh, you want student to uh, record their own attendance. This one, uh, for example, you are using asynchronous uh, activity or lecture, so student can have their own time to assess this one. So we cannot use QR code because they have different time to assess the link. So we can set restrict asset here. For example, uh, they only can record their attendance after they complete the activity. So we can click here. Uh, must complete activity. So you can choose what kind of activity that available. Uh, from here, for example, I can click briefing lecture note. Okay, so they need to watch it, must be marked uh, uh, complete. And you can also uh, add another one here activity completion. Uh, student can manually mark, or you can choose this one show activity as complete when conditions are met. That means it will be automatic, uh, automatically when they finish your. Uh, reading the briefing lecture note one, and then it will automatically record the uh, student activity here. Okay, so the save. So it will appear like this. Because uh, they have restricted here, not available unless the student have uh, read this lecture mark and mark complete so this lecture is uh they need to uh, is up here okay here so when you have downloaded and read so then it will appear and student can um we need to add session here first okay so today and allow you can allow student to record. So if you want to allow automatic marking, miss marking their attendance, so you can click yes. Okay. And then you just click add. So they, when you finish, you automatically mark here. So P is present, A is absent. This one late uh, except uh, excuse. Okay. Okay. We can also prevent student sharing IP address here. Means only one laptop or one phone for one student. And then the beginning okay. So that is for attendance. So so this is chat box. I think previously also have chat box. So I have created chat box before. Okay, here is the chat box. Okay, so for chat box, let's say we don't want to have WhatsApp group. So, so student, if student want to ask us something, they can use chat box button here. And then you can name the chat box here. Let's say chat box for LU3. You can add uh, some description if you want. And then chat station. Uh, let's say start, uh, starting from today. And it's up to you either you want to publish any chat time or you want to open it every day at the same time, never delete or delete, it's up to you. Everyone can view past session. If you want all students uh, to read the past session, just click yes. So just, and then click save. So it appear like this. So when students click here, 
they want to start a new chat, just they just need to click here to enter the chat now. Chat now, I mean the chat box will appear like this. So the student will type here and then send so we can reply uh, here. Um, so this is for chat box. Uh, this is a diary. It's like logbook or something uh, with students. So we can put a diary name for the activity that we choose to do. And then uh, make, um, you choose when you want to open and close the diary. Uh, all the entries, if you allow to edit all entries, you just click yes, or, or if you don't want to click no. Um, Okay, and then the save. When you save, it could, uh, it'll appear like this. So every time student want to write something, so you need to click new entry here. The entry and the save change. So that one is for library. For those who like to have a maybe weekly uh, reflection, you can use diaries, you can read from that one. Means a student can write in the diary. Okay, so what the news database is similar forum is similar from previously feedback as well. Uh, if we want our student to choose group, for example, group for assignment, we can use choice or group choice or group select self selection so the easier one if you want students to choose their own uh, group i prefer to use choice because it's very straightforward just name uh choose your project group for example and then we can set here uh so better Click no for allow more than one choice. Otherwise, your student can click uh, two or three times and uh, limit the number. So this one is up to you. If you don't uh, have any limit per group, so you just click no. But usually we have, so click yes. Um, so let's say group one. So each group we set only four students. So we need to do this one, like group two, limit four students, group three, limit four students. Okay. And then uh, availability, so it's up to you if you want the student to choose within uh, a date. So you need to click enable for both here. So that's mean from today until next week, for example. So after 24th of March, 9.32 uh, a.m., so student can no longer uh, choose the group if we set uh, respond until here. If we don't want, so we just click unable this one. And then, so the result, if you want a student to know uh, who are in the group, so just click always show result to student. So that student will not uh, uh, ask us too many times who is in their uh, group. So I always choose publish full results, showing names and their choices. And also unanswered here. And save. So, so this is the group, and then we click here. You see that we have created three groups just now with limit four students each group. So, so student later we just need to click which group that they want, and then for example, group two, then they save the choice like this. Okay, so. Interactive content, H5P. So this one, something that previously also have, uh, but I'm not sure either you realized uh, it or not. So this one, uh, like it, because if we have our own video that we have uploaded somewhere in YouTube or we don't upload in YouTube, we have the video. So we want to uh, student to, to watch our video while, uh, and then uh, we can give some uh, quiz. So you click H5. 
instead of giving the link straight straight away like like this like this you can click there you can click add activity and then click interactive content uh, description is up to you you want to put a dot and down here in editor box there are a lot of contents that you can choose uh, let's say you want to choose a video uh, to share the video uh, the video so just click interactive video but in here if you can see there are a lot of activities including quizzes or uh, fill in the blank uh, on the text on the words uh, mark words multiple choice quiz uh, single choice through false questions so many including crossword here so this one is more straightforward rather than crossword uh, in elite just now so i want to choose the first one interactive video so when you want to uh, first you need step one you need to upload or embed video just click this box and then if you have your own video file just click here or if you want to make it easy you upload on youtube your file okay let's say okay so uh, if you want to share the link from youtube make sure you have uploaded on youtube first okay so this is the link for the video that i have uh, on youtube so click insert and then um click add interaction here so this is the video that i have uploaded on youtube so I'll click link just now so add interaction up here there are a few boxes that you can choose here um for example you want uh, to click to include a uh, multiple choice question just click this button um which time do you want that uh quiz to come let's say from uh number minute uh, hour until 10 seconds so if you want student to uh, to give time to student to answer click pause here and then uh title for example and then you type the question and the option here the answer here because it's multiple so then we have okay let's say if you want to add more option just click add and then choose one correct answer and then done okay so it look like it can appear anywhere here but the worry will appear on uh when is so it will appear while they are watching the the lecture video so the student need to click in this uh what is the circle and then answer the, the question letter so we can add another true false question for example so make sure the display time here is correct otherwise it will appear on the same time uh and then done and um, many other option here and after that when you finish click summary you can change the title here introduction text for your summary and then and then we finish and then okay because they require title just Okay. so because it's summary to require uh, text in here, just put where they want it here and save. So it will appear like this and what? So the lecture note will appear here. So if you want to know how our student uh, view, we can switch our room to student. And then this is how they view uh, the one that we have set.
set up just now. Okay, so you see when in uh, 0 to 16 seconds, so I, I set pause just now, so that student need to click here and then answer the question. Check. Check. All right. And then it continue. If you don't click pause, it will keep continuing and the student may not realize that uh, there is a quiz button that you need to answer. Okay, so that is H5P. Let's make sure you written to the mouse. So H5P button, uh, interactive content. Okay, others like quiz are the same like previously. We still need to key in the question one by one. Quiz, uh, just quiz or quiz questionnaire. Uh, I think all about the same like previously. So I think that's all that I want to uh, show about the new features of Elite. Okay, I, I saw Dr. Dempsey have question on text. Because this Elite doesn't have the student folder, so I have to use database for student to do file not sharing. Okay, Dr. Dempsey, for, uh, yeah, you can use database. And also because the uh, limit for student sharing or sharing something uh, is 50 megabyte only because they want uh, to reduce the, the size uh, so to make the ELIP not too heavy, like the legging when you want to open it. So that's why they put, uh, when you open it, they say that you need to, um, yeah, they said that a file, when we open elite they have this uh, message a file must uh your file more than 50 megabyte they can can no longer be uploaded on elite so they either need to share it on microsoft one drive or google drive or any cloud storage or platform like youtube or maybe vimeo and other uh option before I share the link or the file in Elite. So that's why they, they reduce it because uh, in previously a lot of command that lagging in opening the Elite due to the big size of uh, file. Okay, so that's about Elite. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me or just type on the chat box. Okay, next I uh, continue on the how to create a video by using three uh, video tools. So I use Bansi, we video and Prezi. So this is a very simple and straightforward one. So this is the link. So I have opened it. So Bansi, rather than we show, uh, we uh, record our video on Zoom, we can use uh, these three options. Okay. The first one is Bansi. So when you click the link that I gave just now, Bansi. So. It will bring you here, okay? But uh, app.edu.bansi.com. So we can log in. If you don't have the uh, account yet, just sign up. So you can use a uh, Google account or my, uh, Microsoft account and so on. So I already have the account. So I click log in by using my Google account. Yeah, uh, Bansi and uh, Bansi V Video and also Prezi, uh, they have free option. Uh, v Video, uh, come subscribe. So 
those who want to use in video, uh, let I can uh, maybe pick the name list and then I ask us uh, come to include your name in that one. Okay, this is Bansi. So if you want uh, more features, actually you can buy it. If don't, I just use the simple one. So I have created one lecture by using Bansi. Um, so if you want to create this video, uh, sorry, uh, your, your lecture video, so create a new Bansi here. Okay, you can either choose from the layout that they have here, the template, or if you don't want to choose from the one that they have, just start from scratch. So very simple and straightforward. So first you can check, uh, you can uh, click or choose a template. So template, they have a template if no. Okay, let's say if you want to check from the template, just Click the template here. Back to school. So this is the template. Okay. If you don't want to choose that one, let's say you want to change the background. You want the template is uh, empty like that is okay. So this is the background. Just click and uh, if only for this page, just add to this page. Okay. And then click here to add your first item. So this is the item that you can include. So if you see here, they have text, like in uh, PowerPoint. So you can add the, your text here. And okay, so you can put anywhere that you want uh, for the text. You can change the color of your uh, text down here, uh, text size, uh, or the font, text color here. Let's say we want to put white here. And then if you want to add another item on the same page, click plus here. So we have a plus button here. So click here. So we want to include, okay, Bansi 3D. If you have your own 3D, you can uh, in, in, insert in here or not. Maybe you can use anything that you have here at one. And it will be appear like, for example, this one. So this because it's 3D, it can move uh, all, uh, the number it will move upside and down. Okay, so if you want more, click here, a uh, plus again. So let's say we want to include 360 image. If we have our own image, it's okay. If we don't, we can click here, enter, then we can find. Uh, look, this is example. Okay, so give example of the look that we want. So just click one and add. This is only example, so this is 360 meter, 360 images now, or we also can include the YouTube channel. Uh, we want to upload something from our uh, file. So if you want to include our lecture not previously, so you need to convert it into a uh, picture jpeg or png so for example here i have converted them in jpeg or png so put in the picture and i put here and then you can upload more or only one to just upload here okay so this is your picture note just now so you can arrange it in here and then let's say you want to have a uh, explanation in video. So you can record your video. This one is straight away. When you click record video, we give you maximum for each recording is three minutes. It's actually more than enough to explain for one slide. I think I need to stop the video on Rolex.
Okay. So uh, you just need to start recording. And after you finish uh, your video and click stop. And you can watch first or just upload here. And then we upload in your slide like this. Okay, so if you want to add another uh, page, click button at under, under page section here, your left hand side, click button here, and you can repeat uh, the same thing or use a different one. And after you finish, you can preview first. But first, you need to give the title. Let's okay, start with this. All right, so this is how it will look like. So we can click here to see 360 just now. And this one, because it is a And this is the video. Okay, so if you want to share this one to student, you can click share here. Either you want to share, uh, you want you can download it. But when you download it, if you have video, because it will download it in PDF. So if you download, you have video, so the 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 video uh sharing macam tak berapa berguna istilah tak boleh dimainkan dalam uh, PDF. So maybe you can share by using uh, code. Share is the link or embed the code and then you can share it on uh, Elite before yep so this is my lecture note that I have created using Elite uh, using Bansi um, all right this one so because Bansi, you can use autoplay, but when they have a video, uh, they need to stop and to click on the video themselves. Like this one. This is the video uh, for explanation for this slide. And also, Bansi also allow you to uh, include um, quiz. So this is the quiz that I include together here. So students need to click the answer here. And so this is the video for this uh, slide and quiz. Okay, so make sure you create short video for each. Uh, you chunk your lecture note into short video. Less than 10 minutes is better. So this one, I use uh, Bansi. Uh, but those who like other... Uh, more challenging one you can use a uh, we video okay just type we video.com so actually you must use we video in creating MOOC so those who are creating MOOC they actually use we video so I have asked Unimas uh, uh sorry come uh access to the we video but unfortunately I forgot what is the uh the password here because I just saved it here. So I have access. This is uh, come have register have subscribed so we can use we can use full version of we video. So this is a we video, but uh, the thing is we can also see other people work in that uh, that using we video uh, under come. So here because I have my own uh, in my own file here. So I have created some uh, videos before by using V video, but unfortunately the recent one is here. Okay, so by using V video, you can create new.
Okay, so here, new project. It will look like this. So the first thing is, the best thing is they have record button here. You can record either, if you want to share the screen, you can choose screen and webcam here. If you want to record only your face, just use webcam. Or if you want only to record your screen without your camera light down here, so click screen. So for, uh, for example, webcam, Okay, so when you click webcam, so next, it will. Okay, I think this is because I am uh, using uh, Webex on camera, so that's why uh, it cannot report uh, two things in one time here, not available, but. Okay, so the button here, you, this is the record for webcam, or if you want to just narrate, just want to talk on the slide that you have, just click narrate here, and then you click hit the button record, it will record your voice. So make sure you have the script or something that you want to explain. And when you are finished, just click stop and save. You can uh, listen back before you want to save. And uh, I, I, it's better not to record it very long in one time. Just for, uh, record a short, short one, so it will be automatically under this one. So uh, this is the, 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 the video that I have recorded by using record and webcam. So I can put it all the video that I have recorded uh, previously. So all the video that I've recorded here. And then uh, this is the voice. So if you want to add uh, another video because you want to add the uh, maybe text. Okay, so you want to add text. Click text here. So there are many options of text that you can choose that you want, for example, this one. So the text will be uh, on, if you, let's say, you want you to see, put on top of your video just now okay it will appear like this so if you also want to add another uh, uh, picture so you can click my media here and import uh, your lecture note again you need to uh, save it in uh, picture for example, I have saved this one in picture. Okay, so you want to include it uh, here. So it will, when you uh, see it, you when you run it, it will be like this. So, and then uh, this is the picture that we put just now. So you can choose a transition, uh, or you want to have a background that you don't want to see your face there, you can put a background uh, redundant with this one. Background down here. Okay, so add another track. So you see that now uh, the blue one the background will be like this. So after you can choose other overlays background here or frames. Uh, solid background and the audio. The, this is the music. If you want to add music, you can choose from the thing that they have and put it under down here. So when you finish the finished product, you just click finish here. So it will automatically uh, save your uh, the video just now. Okay, so you click this one. Need to name the video. And then set it. All right, so there is an option here. 
either you want to save it in other destination like this one yeah, you can download your video or you want to save it straight to your youtube make sure you link your youtube channel this is full hd if you have record if you your video uh, camera have a very good quality one so you can record to ultra uh, high definition so you can choose this one uh, because my camera is not in high uh, quality so I the maximum I can go is full HD and you can also click to add on your YouTube or if you have Vimeo so you can click Vimeo as well so when you click export it will automatically save your video on these two as well at the same time so we export here and then we take some time so you don't have to wait uh you see they will automatically save and after you save this is a video so this is the video uh, the finished product so i prepare this lecture note on we video so I use only uh, nine minutes. Okay, so here, so I can see that my student have uh, 39, uh, 39 views. So some of them maybe have viewed uh, more than one time. So, Hi, hello, welcome back to part two for learning unit one. So today we will learn okay, what is the difference between fresh water, brackish water, and then the sea water. The main difference between sea water and fresh water is the salt content in the water itself. So how much these of salt available in the water? The more the salt content in the water the saltiest the more salinity it will be have a look at this salinity okay, table so that is example okay, stop this one. so we can share either the link from the we video directly to our student either as a link or embed code or just now you have share it also on your youtube you can share from youtube uh, the link from the youtube on uh, e link so that is for uh we video so if i think it's same like femora and other video uh apa nama ni creating with apa nama tu so if you want to use we video to create your uh lecture video please let me know and then i will ask the assess from com to all of us that you will want to use that one okay so I saw Dr. Densi has one question. Is Bansi and the rest? Okay, this one is free. Bansi and Prezi, if they have a free features, but yeah, it's limited features. But for we video, we can we can have full access because come uh, subscribe the premium one. So the the last uh, features is Prezi. So the Prezi have Prezi video. All right, so just go to prezi.com and then log in. You can use your login with Google or Microsoft. Okay, I have an icon just this one. So again, they have a free features and uh, if you want a premium one, you can subscribe yourself. But I think a free features is already good enough. And I have created one video here for my uh, uh, lecture. So it's very easy. You can click um, the video. You can record it. So this is the video that I have. Like, okay, click plus button to create a new one. And make sure you have camera and microphone uh, with your computer. Okay, so this is how interface will look like. We can change it. You can choose from here. Okay, so I want to use this one. Okay, after that, click next step. 
you can add the text that they want to appear on here. Okay, so you will appear like this one. If you want to add uh, icon or you want to add uh, a V, uh, so if you put icon, it will be like this. Okay, so the next page, let's say you want to add another uh, one and put some, uh, you want to upload your own uh, lecture note. Uh, you need to convert it again to pictures and then after that it will appear like this. Uh, okay, if you stay here, you can choose either your own face without any disturb uh, from the, uh, the background or you want to have like side by side like this or you want to focus only for this one for each frame. Different frame may have a different setting like the first setting uh if you want to the first setting like this so set like this okay so you can add text and how many frames that you want just need to click more and more until you finish your lecture and after that click next step so the next step is a uh, recording so here you need to check you have camera and microphone. Click the button record here. And then you just need to speak. If you see here, you have limit 15 minutes for each record, uh, record recording session. And you can change it while you are explaining. For example, change to focus the, uh, the picture just now. And then you can change back like this. And you can move for the next one. The same thing. If you want to focus on the, the picture or the slide, you make it bigger while you are explaining. After you finish recording, done recording. And they give you option either you want to uh, trim, remove uh, from the beginning or at the end. And then uh, if you don't want, you can view and then you uh, you can view your just video. Speak. If you see here, you have limit 15 minutes for, and you can change it while you are explaining. For example, change to focus the uh, the picture just now, and then you can change back. Okay. So if you uh, think that it's good enough, just save the video. And if you want to set the privacy open to public, you can set public and reusable. If you want only those who have the link to review your video, click unlisted here. And after that, when you read the video is ready here, the good thing is, okay, so you can copy the link, just copy the link here, and share it on your, on Elip. So I can show you one of the video that I have created by using, by using Prezi. So this is the video that I have created by using Prezi video. So if you sit down here, actually, they have full transcript of what um, we are uh, saying here. The auto-generated for those who want to maybe check up and kita cakap here. Maybe, but it's not 100% uh, daily with our uh, apa yang kita cakap tu lah. So it's 8 minutes. Communicate between each other. So that's so, very simple, straightforward that you know that they are heavy communication. But how about this one? Okay, so this is example for crazy video. So I, I, I use only the free uh, option here because I think I don't need to use all the premium uh, features and so on. Then click and then share button to the student. So that's the three. Uh, video uh, tool that we can use to create our lecture video because for, for this year for this semester i use this tree to create my video on my video for lecture on elite so if you want to use we video full version you can let me know if you are interested and then i will ask come to give a password to you to so that you can use we video so we video is uh, lagi, lagi seronok sebenarnya lagi senang, straightforward, you record everything you boleh narrate juga and then just share the video and you can save it in high definition because in a full version if you're using 
free version of we video nanti dia akan ada satu besar we video dekat tengah-tengah tu dekat tepi video tu kan macam tak menarik so kalau yang yang full version is free okay so that's all from me for uh, my part so okay if if you have any question or interest on that one please let me know but now i will, i will pass uh, to mr nasaruddin to share about the interesting one how to create or to design a uh, gamification activity by using class craft so mr nasaruddin has used class craft class craft in his uh, teaching and learning last semester so over to you mr nasaruddin Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, very good morning to everyone. Um, for those of you, uh, especially for uh, new staff, uh, my name is uh, Nasaruddin. Uh, I'm from um, Aquatic Science Program. And then, uh, selamat datang uh, for this uh, short workshop. And then, um, I would like to share with you uh, one of the approach uh, that I've been used uh, during the last semester. Uh, actually, uh, class craft, uh, I just found class craft um, because, you know, during the pandemic, uh, uh, I'm, I was thinking on how to do the gamification. Uh, it's like uh, to to promote active uh, participation uh, for the student, especially during pandemic. Sebab dia orang semua duduk kat rumah and then most of them are busy or maybe and then um, I'm trying to find a, a new approach. Macam mana uh, how to encourage student to love the subject. Okay, and then um, uh my friend okay he was uh now he's in in us because uh he he was one of the lecturer in the united states and then he is uh, an expert in education and then he suggested that uh, maybe i can try this kind of uh, approach so when i try this um class craft um is very uh i mean it's a very handy it's very easy to the student to use and it's more it's kind of like um you know like uh it's like this um macam mana nak cakap ah dia lebih kepada graphical ah uh, like students uh, like the young generation right now they love to play you know like pubg you know, like online games. Uh, jadi, uh, this class craft is almost uh, similar to that approach. Uh, but we use it in the education. Huh? So, uh, I will, because we have limited time, so um, I would like to share what is class craft. Huh? Okay, this is the content for my short talk uh, today. So uh, there is four elements that I will uh, I will introduce very fast. Okay, what is class craft? Why we use gamification? And uh, the principle be behind class craft and how class craft works. What is class craft? Huh? Uh, class craft is a game based approach to teaching and learning. Uh, it is created to encourage our students in class with their lessons uh, to promote the good behavior and uh, develop the skills like, you know, like collaboration, communication, even though they are not physically in the campus. Okay. And everything they learn stays the same. We can maintain the content of our subject. Okay. But they can get, you know, it's like uh, they get to have a little fun. 
okay and then why gamification okay i think this one all of you already know why gamification is important huh? especially for the 21st century's generation okay um okay games become a bigger part of the culture okay because they they have potential to transform uh, the students uh, and develop student skills actually especially in teamwork and transform students experiences in the school okay in the university lah. okay and then young generation love to play games okay uh, even kita pun uh, suka main game ah um, i'm not sure about the x generation but uh, generation uh, Y macam saya ni, saya ni generation Y uh, awal-awal lah. Uh, masa tu teknologi uh, mula bergerak dengan pantas. And then the young generation, um, they are likely to respond. Okay, they are likely to respond to the use of game in other setting. Okay, and then um, students, they are willing to participate in the games. Kalau kita guna convention uh, kaedah yang biasa, student mengantuk, okay? Uh, even kalau kita bagi lecture in the Webex, uh, student ada yang, you know, like like uh, sometimes they just uh, turn off the camera and then dia pergi mana-mana entah, uh, kita tak tahu. Uh, but we can promote the participation um through this platform eh? and then uh, then naturally hello gravitate to the aesthetic of games and immediately understand and respect their mechanics and rules okay bila uh, when the students play games eh, they will learn faster because uh, in the games uh, if you experience PUBG or other you know like um, adventure games or maybe RPG games or like that uh, they have missions that they have to complete so that kind of target okay that kind of objective will enhance their interest you know like uh, they, they gave uh, them spirit to fulfill that goal so uh, that's why gamification is a very good approach okay Okay, what are the principle between uh, class craft? Okay, um, they can create experiences for the students. Okay, uh, and then class craft is a design uh, learning experience. Okay, nanti uh, mungkin sekarang ni kawan-kawan uh, semua tak nampak lah. Tapi bila kita buka class craft tu, okay, and then I will share with you uh, some of the students feedback okay some of the student feedback they really like this um, kind of approach even though it's not as um, uh, ultimate as a PUBG or like that which is you know like movement you know like you can control it's like playing video games actually it's like playing play uh, PS5 or like that but it can you know it is a good experience you know like in in completing the task and then uh there will be rewarded xps or if they are, didn't do the objective or maybe they didn't participate uh, we can uh, you know deduct the hp which is very good for them uh, you know and then um uh, they will be also rewarded a gold piece uh, gold pieces so they can use it to you know uh, beli baju semua so they can uh, custom make their avatar their avatar okay how class craft works eh? how class craft works yang ni yang uh, menarik uh, minat student eh? because uh, the main import uh, the important thing says they have an avatar okay uh, after they registered Okay, they registered uh, into this platform uh, by invitation. Okay, because this uh, we need to invite the student into this uh, platform. We cannot um, 
they have an invitation code okay in order to um, enroll the student into class craft <coughs> okay how class craft work eh? kalau kita tengok if we can see here this is one of the uh, my students um, avatar okay um, they have uh, shp they have ap they have xp and they have gp okay hp is a uh, nyawa lah okay help and then uh, there are the ap action points which can be used when they are battling with boss okay they are the boss eh? <coughs> and then um and then they can use xp to heal uh, their teammates okay for example like uh, if the teammates uh being deducted uh the hp have been deducted for example they didn't attend classes or maybe they didn't participate in the forum so we can deduct the hp but their friend can help them to heal or maybe they can counter uh the hp deduction okay and then they also have xps okay xp is the uh, experience points experience points uh, is kind of the point that can be used to uh, to level up uh, their avatar, okay? And then as you can see, this, um, you can see here, uh, there are the four members of their group. So this game can promote teamwork, okay? They, uh, they will be assigned in a group. Okay, for example, like this one, ya uh, adalah team uh, ke sembilan. Ah, jadi uh, they can hit, uh, they can help each other in order to um, complete the task given. Ah, kita uh, bagi task, then they complete. Uh, we can reward them with XP. Okay, so this is the most important part that interest student lah. Student suka benda-benda macam ni. Okay. Okay, let's get started lah. Um, kita akan, um, I will show you how to, this is a very short lah. It's kind of um, very introductory. Uh, ni adalah uh, homepage lah untuk uh, for class craft lah. So there are lots of information here. These are the terms uh, that usually use in the United States. PBIS means positive behavioral intervention and support. So while exploring this platform, you may uh, find lots of uh, terms like PBIS, SEL, MTS, SNIRPS. It's kind of the terms that have been used in the uh, that that been used in the United States in order to you know like um, approach it's like a teaching and learning uh, things okay but um, for for this talk um, I won't be really explain uh, uh, too much about that uh, okay kalau kita tengok homepage ni eh, kita tengok homepage ni ramai muka budak-budak eh. tak ada muka-muka budak universiti okay actually this is the secret that I want uh, I want to share with all of you. Uh, class craft is actually used for primary school students, okay, uh, and high school uh, students. Um, they not have been used in the university yet, but okay, we can use this uh, platform uh, for the university students as well, okay. And then actually, class craft is designed for the face-to-face -face approach, actually. Uh, okay, I will show you uh, what are the uh, features that, uh, that can be used, okay? Um, tetapi, but uh, we can use for the remote learning as well, okay? We can just set up everything, uh, set up the quest, everything, the objective for every quest, and then we can just leave it there and allow and then let the students finish the task, okay? Because um, it's actually, if you use this class craft, um, this is my uh, experience uh, with the students uh, last semester. Kita, we don't have to push them, 
Okay, that student sendiri yang akan cuba uh, completekan task tu. Walhal, uh, the objective ataupun task yang diberi tu, kita guna dalam elite sebenarnya. Tetapi, elite ni kita kena push selalunya lah. <coughs> kita kena push student. Okay, oh, macam uh, you tak buat ni lagi. Okay, okay, bla bla bla. Okay, you tak complete lagi task ni. Okay. Tetapi, for class craft, student tu akan automatic buat. Kita tak perlu suruh. Student tu akan contact saya. Sir, saya dah uh, complete ni macam mana? Boleh tak open the gate? Okay, saya faham. Okay, saya akan buka gate. Then, okay, so, class craft dia akan uh, encourage student macam aktif lah. Kita tak perlu nak um, sibuk untuk uh, hunt dia orang lah. Okay. So, for, uh, for new... Um, for new users Okay, you can uh, Register And then, uh, saya nak beritahu lah Okay, um, this uh, platform Okay, they have a free version And they also uh, Some of the paid version Okay, the free version I think for us Is enough already Okay, but they have some limitation But I think I think It's not really affect Um Uh, the students or us because for example like uh, the the okay let me show okay let's go okay ini adalah uh, uh, ciri-ciri the uh, the differences between basic uh, version the premium version and the school and district version yang ni <coughs> yang ni kalau Unimas nak sub nak subscribe ataupun Unimas nak beli uh, boleh lah, okay? Tetapi uh, yang ni for the individual teachers ah, uh, individual teachers, okay? Ada beza lah. Saya tak uh, yang premium one is 100 uh, USD per year, okay? 100 USD per year. But sometimes they have uh, this kind of uh, sale ataupun offer. Eh, eh sorry, is uh is a 120 USD per year but sometimes if they have a promotion uh, dia akan turun kepada 100 dollars okay tapi for us as a new or maybe you just want to explore uh, you can just use the basic version the basic version uh, kelemahannya adalah dia tak ada gold pieces okay dia tak ada gold pieces uh, so um Maksud, so, dia akan bagi gold pieces. Okay, free version, they have gold pieces. Uh, if you, if the student completed uh, the first task to create their avatar, then they will be awarded 500 gold pieces. So, they can use that uh, these uh, pieces to, you know, uh, customize their avatar. Nak beli baju ke, nak beli tongkat ke, apa ke. Uh, dengan uh, 500 uh, gold points tu. Tetapi kalau untuk premium one, the lecturer can award them uh, the gold pieces. So, uh, semakin tinggi uh, dia punya gold pieces, so semakin banyak dia punya uh, baju, dia punya peralatan dia boleh beli. Uh, which is, um, sebenarnya, yeah, of course lah, premium one is uh, is better lah. Tetapi, um, But we can encourage student. We can teach student how to, you know, like uh, maximize uh, their their avatar with the limited budget lah. Kalau kita guna basic one, okay? Okay, uh, kita boleh register, okay? Register. Tetapi uh, cara nak register ialah kita klik log in tu. Um, dia akan keluar sign up ni. Eh? Ataupun don't have an account, sign up. Okay, bila sign up, uh, dia akan tanyalah, uh, create a free account. Okay, I am a teacher. Okay. The interesting, uh, the, the interesting part about class craft ni, okay, parents can also involve, but I didn't uh, use these features lah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Uh, their parents, students' parents, uh, because this uh, platform is designed for the, you know, primary school students, high school students. But, you know, what? well, if you want to use, like, um, parent uh, involvement in this class craft, well, you can try. 
but uh, I didn't use that. So parent can also award them with the uh, group pieces. Okay, tetapi saya tak pakai lah. Okay. Okay, untuk register kita klik uh, I'm a teacher. And then um, kita guna Google ataupun uh, boleh uh, class link. Uh, tetapi biasanya kita guna Google ataupun okay, you boleh register lah. Okay, tetapi memandangkan saya dah register, uh, jadi kita just boleh masuk. Saya akan masuk terus lah. Okay, uh, this is the teacher's dashboard. Okay, when you register um, class craft as a teacher, uh, you will be automatically uh, appointed as a game master. Okay, as a game master, so you can create your class uh, in this platform. For example, like uh, this is uh, my class for the last semester, uh, limnological class. There are forty. There, there were forty-five students. So before I uh, show you how to create a class, uh, let uh, let uh, me show you what I've done uh, for the previous semester. Okay. Okay. This is my students' avatar, lah. Okay. Uh, the uh, these are my students' list for the limnology. Okay, semua, this, uh, these students, they cannot simply uh, just register for this course into Classcraft. We need to invite them, we need to give them code before they can be invited into this game. Okay, so you can see here like uh, they have, no, they, they already the habis ni. Okay, you can see the level 18 and then there are the teammates, everything. Okay, and then... This one you can view the individual students, okay? And they also have teams, okay? Ini uh, pelajar pelajar ni semua juga dibagikan kepada kumpulan, okay? Kepada kumpulan, so they can uh, you can give them tasks based on groups or you can give them tasks uh, individually, okay? This is based on team, eh? Team one, team two, team three, and then kita boleh tengok class kat sini. Class ni kita boleh tengok semua students. Okay, and then uh, they have uh, HP, AP, okay. Dia orang dah semua dah, uh, dia orang dah replenish dia punya HP sebab dia orang dah lama tak guna kan. Okay, sebab dah habis. And then you can see the experience point here. And then they, you can see the gold pieces. Okay, because I use the, uh, the paid version so I can reward them with gold pieces as well. If you use the free version, you can uh, award them with uh, XP only. But the XP is also um, also encourage students to fulfill the mission because um, if you, you know, they can level up. Okay, when, when they can level up, they will be rewarded more powers and more, you know, like skills or, or powers to maybe they can heal their friends. Maybe they can, you know, um, they have skills to attack bosses and so on. Okay. And then there are also um, yang ni yang class tools. Huh? Okay, class tools ni kita boleh guna, we, we can use in during the lecture. Huh? Dan kita juga boleh guna these class tools semasa uh, online learning as well. And then, um, for example, I'm not sure which one uh, will be disabled if we use the free version. Okay. Tapi kita akan uh, tengok uh, satu persatu lah secara sepintas lalu. For example, the will of destiny. Okay, the will of destiny ni. Okay, kita boleh pick a random player or a random team in the class during lecture if you want to ask questions. Okay, for example like, okay, uh, we just, because the student can see this one. Okay, there will be, you know, oh, oh, there will be a site. Okay, I have one question for you. What is blah, 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 blah. Okay, I want one, uh, okay, any takers? And then usually in our class, biasanya dia akan diam, kan? 
Okay, so we can pick a random player. So we can just click this one and then the students will appear. Then, okay, Walisa, well, you can answer. Can you try what is the meaning of this, this, this? Okay, and then if the students, if the student answer it correctly or maybe they show the effort to answer the question, you can award them with XP. You can press this button. Okay, so participate, uh, participating in the discussion, you just click there and then they will be awarded 100 XP. Okay, um, which is for me is a very good approach for the students and, and then they can level up so they can dapat, oh, bila dia tengok, bila dia tengok, alamak, oh, dapat ni lah, dapat 50 gold pieces lah. So most of the students are really interested in updating nak shopping barang untuk update dia punya baju semua seluar tukar kasut buk tukar tongkat semua so biasanya dia akan berebut-rebut untuk jawab lah okay. walaupun jawapannya tak betul tapi it's actually the important things is we want to uh, we want students to active in the class okay. just uh, it's not just us to you know bercakap kan ok ini adalah random picker The next one is the Riders Way. Okay, yang ni um, kita boleh uh, set uh, apa aktiviti secara random yang perlu dilakukan in the class. In order to, for example, like if we have a three hours lecture, it will be too boring for student. Uh, student tak boleh cope tiga jam berterusan, student pening semua kan. Okay, kita boleh guna uh, uh, the Riders of Way ni untuk kiranya menyegarkan kelas tersebut. Sebagai contoh, kita boleh klik event ni. Okay. Bila uh, untuk um, the Riders Way ni, dia akan ada random events. Maksud dia, kita just click. So, okay, for example, equalizer, justice have a be hand. So, everyone akan hilang HP secara rawak. So, student akan, ah, oh, macam tu. Then we can also create. We can just click here to create. Uh, an, okay, ni dia akan tunjuk lah. Semua kena foto makah. Eh? Tapi it's up to us as well. Sama ada kita nak foto makah ke tak. Okay. Kita tengok lagi sekali. Eh? Let's say lah kalau kita tukar uh, event lain pula. Okay. Dia random eh. Okay, so ni aktiviti dalam kelas lah. Everyone must end their sentences with a meow or a wolf. So, student akan um, aktif lah. Okay, to... It's not really... Um, um, you know, I'm trying to say is is um, Kita boleh... Uh, it's like uh, before we start the class, we can start with this kind of activity. Or maybe in between an hour, maybe we can stop for a while and then we can start... Uh, we can do this activity. You know, it's in, in order to... You know, to refresh the students, you know, tak nak bagi student boring. Okay. Um, yang ni, okay, ada yang berbayar, ada yang percuma. Um, tetapi, uh, saya akan, sebab masa mungkin tak cukup. Okay, saya akan terus kepada quest. Eh? Okay, quest ni uh, adalah, uh, is is um, you know is set of activity uh, that we plan okay we need to plan this quest um, i think uh, maybe uh, we can set a plan maybe if if you have a uh, one or two LUs, uh, we can we, we can plan or uh, maybe one or uh, maybe two or three LUs ahead in order to ensure that the students uh, really have a benefit really get the benefit uh, from this platform Okay, um, macam saya, okay, memandangkan uh, saya uh, mengajar khusus limnologi ni, saya ambil separuh uh, the second half of the um, <coughs> the second half of the semester. So the second half of the semester, they just have uh, four LUs. Okay, uh, four LUs. So I've, I've set four um, quests. This one, the first quest is. Uh, the session where the student create their avatar. So we can reward them. Okay. 
Okey ni uh, dalam quest tu dia ada objectives. Okey dalam objective ni. Okey. So um, the meeting of strangers this one is a more on the introductory everything. So uh, and then for this one, okay, this is the objective, okay? Class craft registration. So um, we need to guide students step by step in order to register the class craft. So after the student all registered, then we can award them with uh, gold pieces or XP or like that. And then is you know you can create, you can customize this kind of activity. It's based, it's up to you, okay? Okay, lepas tu uh, kita back uh, kepada okay. Lepas student after uh, after students have created their avatar, okay. Uh, this is uh, this quest is based on the lecture LUs lah. Okay, so bila kita klik dekat sini E1 Q2 ni, okay nanti saya ajar apa maksud E1 Q2 ni. Okay, this one is based on the on the LUs and what are our plan, teaching plan or maybe activities that we have been planned for this respective um, LUs. For example, like this one, okay. <coughs> um, okay, yang ni tak ada apa, -apa. Uh, most of the quest there will be slight intro and uh, end like this. Okay, dia tak ada apa-apa dia bila kita klik ni. They, they are more just more on the overview or the stories. Okay, nanti saya ajar macam mana kita nak buat. Uh, lepas tu, uh, bila student completed this one, okay, 49 semua dah complete, dia akan keluar star kat sini. Lepas tu, dia akan pergi race to the top, hunted by the pass. Okay. <coughs> apa yang saya buat, ni, ni, ni apa yang saya buat lah. It, it's based, it's, it's up to you how to create how to design your uh, teaching uh, plan. Huh? For example, like, uh, a race to the top ni, sebenarnya, uh, saya nak check um, student yang tak datang pada previous lecture, siapa tak datang, saya potong 20 HP. Okay? It's bukan 20 HP tu bukan 20 mark for the final uh, examination yang... Uh, Tentu, ini dalam game ni. Okay. And then, um, kita akan uh, tengok lah. Kita akan based on the QR code attendance yang kita create dalam QR code Unimas tu. Kita tengok siapa tak datang, kita pun potong lah markah tu dalam kelas. So, student, oh, student. Uh, dia akan macam tu lah. Then, uh, for the next, um, kita ada a secret map ah ni 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 apa yang saya dah buat lah okey a secret map ni sebenarnya the task is kita suruh dia buat my map okey bila dia buat my map and then we can incorporate this with uh, elip as well okey kita suruh dia buat my map and then hantar dekat elip siapa tak hantar kita akan potong hp okey but if they submit the my map, then we can reward them with uh, XP. Okay, itu seterusnya lah sampai um, habis. Okay, <coughs> okay, macam mana kita nak create um, uh, this uh, kind of quest semua kan? Okay, kita nak create class ah. Eh? So, bila kita mula-mula masuk, kita mula-mula register, kita akan uh, dibawa ke dashboard, uh, teacher's dashboard ni. Okay. Kita klik create a class. Huh? Create a class. Okay. Lepas tu kita tulis enter a class name. For example, uh, byte to byte. For example lah. Okay. Class setting. Okay. Dia tak ada university students lah. Eh? Dia tak ada university student. So, kita letak high school lah. Okay. Then, kita klik next. Okay. Uh, kita boleh pilih lah dia punya uh, setting fit for the classroom. Uh, tetapi, untuk case saya, uh, case saya, saya guna remote learning lah sebab student tak ada kan. Okay. Castle ni ah uh, kalau <coughs> kalau you rajin, uh, ni dia ada dia ada guideline lah. Castle ni is um, is a term 
used in the United States. Okay. Uh, in order to develop social and emotional learning skills lah. Dia ada castle guidelines. Okay. Tapi kita tak guna kat Malaysia if I'm not mistaken. So we just stick to remote learning. Okay. Okay. So kita dah ada bite to bite punya uh, class. Okay. Mula-mula uh, kita kena set up class dulu. Okay. Zero or four steps done. Okay. Mula-mula kita uh, we need to review the behaviors. Okay, review the behaviors ni macam mana kita nak award the students dengan HP ataupun, eh sorry, uh, we cannot award HP. Uh, macam mana kita nak award students dengan XP, dengan GP if you use the paid version. So, you need to uh, complete this one, uh, these uh, steps before you can, um, uh, you know, like really activate the class. Okay, for example, kita click dekat sini. Okay, review and uh, review the default positive uh, behaviors. Okay, yang ni kita boleh ubah. Eh? Kita boleh ubah uh, selepas kita, selepas kelas tu aktif. Okay, sekarang ni dia just, kita kena review. Kita just review saja. Okay, ini apa yang uh, default lah. Okay, default we can um, cuba sesuaikan dengan kelas kita. Ataupun kalau rasa tak sesuai, kita boleh delete. Kita boleh delete and then kita boleh uh, create our um, own uh, positive behaviors. Huh? Okay. Macam yang ni kan, being respectful to the others online. Yang ni kita tak boleh tengok dalam uh, during uh, kalau kita guna online kan. Nah, ini biasanya kita guna di dalam kelas secara face to face. Okay. And then helping other another student with the, their work. Okay. Ini uh, kalau dalam kelas kita boleh nampak lah. So, if you... If you think that this uh, positive behavior is not suit with your plan, then you can delete and change it later. Okay. Uh, okay, lepas ni kita klik next. Yang ni yang uh, negative behavior. Okay, negative behavior. Siapa hantar assignment lambat, kita boleh potong 10 HP. Uh, being rude to classmate ni, uh, I'm not, I don't think that university student kita nampak dalam kelas kan. So, you can uh, just delete this one. Okay, so you can edit this. Okay, macam mana kita nak deduct HP is up to you. Student tak datang kelas ke, student nak uh, hantar assignment lambat ke, lepas tu tiba-tiba ada kalau buat uh, kerja berkumpulan tiba-tiba ada member members of the group complain ke. So you can you know, you can uh, customize this kind of thing, okay? Okay, plagiarism ni kalau HP student zero, tiba-tiba student tu mati uh, sebab selalu kena didak kan. Uh, buat masalah kena didak. Lepas tu, lepas tu participate in the boss battles, lawan boss kalah kena didak HP. Dia ada limit lah bila uh, lama-lama. Macam nyawa lah. Okay. So, uh, kita punya the, the students avatar will fall lah. Dia akan mati. So, macam mana kita nak hidupkan balik avatar tu? So, kita bagilah uh, dia punya task. We give them task in order to hidupkan balik dia punya avatar. Okay. Ini pun kita boleh edit lah. Yang ni default one. Okay. Nothing. Okay. You can tak perlu buat apa-apa. You bagi je hidup balik. And then write a kudos to a classmate you are being conflict with. So create a short video showing how to cook be made, make better decision. So they can, maybe they can use TikTok. Maybe they can use, you know, like Instagram video. And then you can upload it. Uh, in the YouTube, so it's up. It's based on the how do you want to, you know, create this kind of uh, pages. <coughs> okay, settle. Dah review behaviors. Okay, kita review powers pula. Uh, sebab uh, class craft ni dia game kan. So, we need uh, as a young generation, <laughs> we need to be, you know, um, kita kena jadi macam budak-budak balik lah. Okay. So, review powers ni. Okay, powers ni adalah um, kuasa lah. Okay, powers that can be used um, to protect uh, the team members or you can be use this power to fight, to attack the bosses. Okay, uh, biasalah bila kita, uh, dia ada boss lah. Uh, bila kita main game ni, dia ada bila kita sebelum kita habis satu stage tu, uh, dia ada boss kita kena lawan. Okay, boss ni kita boleh create bila-bila masa. Sama ada kita nak create before the end of the quest 
or maybe you you just can create these boxes in the class randomly for a specific student or maybe you can create a boss battle as randomly uh, for the team okay kita pulang kepada kita eh? okay untuk uh, makluman kawan-kawan uh, sekalian okay uh, di dalam in in class craft okay kita ada uh, there are three types of um macam mana nak kata there are three types of characters that we can choose okay number one is guardians okay kita ada guardians uh, lepas tu kita ada healers okay and then every character every types of this uh, avatar they have a different uh, specialty and they have different time of you know um uh specialties lah they have different specialties and uh, abilities okay uh, the majors okay majors ni um or magicians lah okay lepas tu okay kita dah review okay dah dapat okay sekarang ni kita nak assign student macam mana kita nak invite student masuk ke dalam uh, kita punya kelas <coughs> okay, kita klik assign students okay we can use add existing students so we can import the students from the other class to the current class or we can uh, we can create new accounts okay and then uh, there are two choices here you can add students manually or maybe you can use google classroom okay google oh. classroom if you have google classroom you have students list in the classroom you can simply import them uh, here but Uh, in my case, I don't have Google Classroom, so I just add it manually. So, uh, ini letih sikit lah. Okay, letih sikit. Uh, you kena, uh, kita kena, uh, contoh sebagai contoh, kita kena type lah. Okay, uh, sebagai contoh, Farah contoh. Okay, Farah. And then, uh, uh, Farah Akmal lah. Okay. Um, siapa lagi siapa lagi nak masuk a uh, itu Lela Atira <laughs> okay. okay kalau yang letihnya okey yang letihnya kalau ada ramai student so kita terpaksa lah type secara manual ini kelemahan lah okey ini kelemahan dia tetapi kalau kita ada Google Classroom Okay, we just simply import saja. Okay. So, we, okay, kita create account. Okay, so ada dua students. Okay, kita boleh add a team kalau kita nak. Okay, tetapi kalau kita tak nak, uh, kalau kita tak nak pun tak apa. Okay, so assign student dah selesai. So, now we need to prepare students uh, introduction. Okay, student introduction ni adalah uh, macam mana kita nak invite student tersebut sebab Farah just Farah belum di invite lagi jadi um, kita boleh download and print the document uh, for students uh, untuk baca okey sebenarnya tak ada apa pun okey the role summary tu apa yang kita dah bincang tadi okey uh, dari segi power semua tu okey uh, ni dia punya syarat-syarat game tu okey kita boleh bagi dalam uh, kepada student atau um, kita boleh upload this file in the elite. Okay, kita tunjuk dekat student lah. Macam yang saya buat dalam, nanti saya tunjuk lah. Okay, lepas tu ni hero, uh, ni macam uh, perjanjian lah. Which is, uh, well, is a, saja game. Okay, so by choosing to be adventurer in the class club, I agree to apply blah. Okay, kita boleh suruh student sign ni. If, if we want lah. Kalau tak, tak apa. Okay. Okay, yang ni yang penting ya. Eh? Okay, student code ni ya. Eh? Student code ni. Okay, kita guide student eh. Bila di dalam, uh, bila kita, ni sebab ini dah dalam, dalam bentuk PDF. So, we can upload, we need to download this file and then upload it in the elite. During the, during the classes, we can uh, guide them how to uh, create the class craft uh, account in the class is very is uh, is is not too long okay so student code ni kalau kita tengok student code ni okay 
suruh student tu ada uh, is a, is a senang lah mungkin dia dah ada guideline ni okey uh, nanti this one okey for okey for your information this code is unique eh is a lain student lain code dia okey for example like uh, atira ha dia lain code dia okey tapi guideline dia sama je guideline dia sama cuma code dia berbeza so you need to explain uh, to students and tell them this code is different uh, for everybody okay so bila student dah uh, ikut guideline ni so mereka akan masuklah dalam game tu okay bila dia masuk okay kita boleh tunjuk introducing students to class craft so kita kena bagi tahu apa apa tu class craft okay um apa yang ada dalam video ni adalah benda yang saya dah explain tadi tu. Okay, tetapi dia lebih interaktif, lebih more graphical. Is a, a student lagi suka lah. Wow, apa ni, apa ni. Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay. So, benda ni, kelas uh, craft ni senang. Eh. Uh, saya rasa kawan-kawan semua boleh belajar dengan sendirinya sebab there are lots of uh, information kalau kita explore kita boleh uh, explore sendiri kita boleh buat sendiri maybe you can create uh, yang lebih baik daripada uh, saya lah okay okay your class setup is complete you are ready to begin so kita boleh lah mula uh, masuk okay okay so well done Everything is ready. Click on begin student uh, interested to start presenting class craft to your students. So, kita pun click. Okay. Yang ni lah. Okay, for your students, what is class craft? Okay. Okay, kenapa macam ni kosong lagi? Sebab um, Farah dengan uh, Atira belum masuk lagi. So bila bila Farah dan Atirah uh, masuk uh, Dr. Farah dan Dr. Atirah masuk nanti uh, avatar dia akan uh, appear lah tetapi teachers okay we as a teacher we can create the avatar for them we can set up the character for them okay kita boleh tolong pilihkan okay kita nak jadi guardian ke nak jadi mage ke nak jadi healer tetapi kalau saya saya suruh student pilih sendirilah lebih dia orang lagi sukalah okay okay itu uh, settle untuk uh, set up character. Okay, ataupun avatar lah. Orang panggil avatar selalu kan. Okay, lepas tu kita pun tunjuk kat student ni. Untuk, uh, apa ni, uh, what is class craft. Lepas tu kita. Okay, you, you do, uh, kalau kawan-kawan uh, tengok dekat atas ni kan. Okay, pretend uh, to students. Eh. So, dia dah ada dah guideline. Kita boleh follow je. Bila, bila student tu dah masuk. <coughs> dalam kelas pun kita boleh tunjuk slide ni. Dia memang dah. Uh, guide kita lah Okay And then uh, kita boleh explain kat student Apa yang uh, ni benda yang Saya ceritakan tadi Okay The characters Okay um, The the characteristic For every type of uh, You know uh, Characters And then the themes uh, You boleh dengar bunyi-bunyi Haiwan-haiwan -bunyi, uh, semua tu Okay Settle untuk creating avatar. Okay, the last one is quest. Okay, ha, yang ni kita nak set um, uh, students punya task ha, ataupun student punya activities uh, during our courses. Ha. Okay, kita klik dekat quest ni, dia akan adalah dunia macam ni. Okay, and then we click here, add quest. Okay, kita klik add quest. And then dia kata, click anywhere on the map to place your quest. Ha, klik dekat mana-mana yang kita suka. Ha, mungkin kat sini ke. And then enter a quest name. So, kita tulislah. Uh, contoh, uh, class. Okay, so we can uh, select a quest map. Kita boleh pilih. Okay, let's say lah. Kita ambil yang ni, contoh. Okay, kita klik next. Okay, kita ambil. Okay, dah. Ni, ni kalau kita, if you want to assign class to other classes, we can choose these options lah. If you if you just stick to byte to byte, because uh, we already, uh, because I already click byte to byte, so we just click next. Okay, kita dah ada. 
uh, kita dah set up kita punya quest. Okay. Okay, tu yang pertama. Okay, kita klik sini. Okay. Bila kita klik kat sini. Okay, kita klik dekat mana-mana dekat sini. Okay. Kita boleh tulis introduction ni lah. Okay, tulislah introduction or, uh, of your activities. Okay. Tulis bla 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 bla. Okay. Lepas tu kita save. Okay. Okay. In, biasanya bila kita begin the quest. Okay. Dia punya introduction ni memang tak ada task. Dia tak ada task. It's more on the introduction. So you can. Kita boleh edit lah dekat sini. Okay. Kita boleh edit. Okay. Untuk seterusnya. Untuk seterusnya. Okay. Kita nak create activity tu. Okay. Kita klik lagi. Add objective. Okay. Kita klik add objective. Okay. Letaklah kat mana-mana kat sini ke. Okay. It's based or it's up to you. Uh, contoh kalau kita nak buat. Uh, contoh Dr. Farah buat pasal air masin. Uh, sebagai contoh. Uh, ni mungkin air ke. Uh, kita pun letaklah kat sini. Okay. Kita. Uh, tulis salt. Uh, salt water for example. So, kita klik task. Okay. Lepas tu, write a fictional stories below to introduce students to the objective. So, uh, tulislah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then, task ni, okay. Um, discuss, for example, the differences. The differences, saya, saya type je lah. The differences between salt water and fresh water, for example, okay. Um, salt water and fresh water Okay Lepas tu uh, You type lah dekat sini uh, What Are the differ Differences Okay uh, Lepas tu kita pun klik next Okay And then assignment ni Okay, kita boleh set assignment eh, for the students. Okay. Uh, tetapi, okay, class craft is not, um, it's not, uh, it's like a database. Eh? It's not a database. So, they don't have any spaces provided like Elite. So, we just click enable assignment. So, we just can set the due date and the student reward if they do the uh, assignment. But, Uh, you have uh, to guide them. Maybe you can, okay. Uh, assignment ni upload dekat Ili. Okay. Then we can check lah. If the student submit the assignment in the Ili, then we can uh, reward them with XP and GP. Okay. And then um, and also discussion. If you want uh, to initiate discussion between students, you, just, you can click discussion here. And you can monitor the progress. Okay, give your student a reward for the completing the objective. Okay, and then you can also set self-paced progress. Okay, self-paced progress ni kalau student kita tak nak um, uh, hadkan pergerakan student dalam game tu. Okay, kalau kita tak klik ni, kalau kita tak klik ni, every objective before they can uh, go to the next, the next objective, they have to request us to open the gate first. Okay, if we if we click this button, then the students can explore the whole uh, quest. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want to limit the students' uh, movement in the game or you just lepas di orang explore. Uh, sampai semua LU pun boleh. Okay. Lepas tu kita pun save. Okay. So, dia ada introduction. Okay, kita boleh connect this introduction ni. Kita tekan je button connect objective ni. Okay, lepas tu kita pun tarik kat sini. Okay, kita boleh buat lah sama ada kita nak buat uh, bercabang dua ke. It's up to you lah. Okay. Uh, lepas tu, let's say lah. 
uh, kita tak ada idea alamak aku macam mana aku nak uh, buat uh, quest punya set susah lah ni 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 ok kita boleh explore ada satu lagi yang uh, menarik untuk kelas craft ni kita boleh klik dekat uh, quest marketplace ni kita boleh import quest-quest uh, yang um, game master game master lain dah buat and then kita sesuaikan dengan kita punya uh, cost ok lepas tu dekat bawah ni ok dia ada kita boleh browse by subject ok tapi tak adalah um, untuk aquatic tak adalah water science if I'm not mistaken tak ada so maybe we can use biology maybe uh, Uh, geography or maybe general science ok so um, kita boleh import dan kita boleh edit ikut kesesuaian kita ok kalau kita tak ada idea lah macam mana kita nak create uh, kita punya plan tu ok dan yang terakhir um, satu lagi uh, mode yang menarik di dalam uh, class craft ni kita ada story mode story mode ni Uh, dia dah ada set of uh, macam story okay, yang kita boleh import di dalam setiap objektif tu, dia ada story. Story tu dia, uh, uh, it's not really scientific story, it's more on narrative lah. It's a, it's a general story more on the, you know, like fantasy for, for, uh, for the, you know, adventure like that which some of the students nak benda tu. Okay, dia macam cerita. Kadang-kadang student ni dia nak baca cerita tu. So, they need to complete some of the objective to open the gate to the other objective. Then they can read the story. Okay, we can import uh, this. Uh, kita klik. Eh. Okay, kita boleh import lah. Eh. Uh, macam mana ni? Using story mode. Okay. Okay, kita boleh import. Ada 8 episod sekarang ni. Okay, ada 8 episod. Ni adalah season 1 lah. Ada season 1. Okay. Ini dia macam uh, macam cerita. Eh. Cerita we can import. For example, kita klik import. Kita kena start dengan ni lah. The, the path of the ancients ni. Kita import. Okay. Dia, lepas tu dia ada cerita dalam ni bla 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 okey kita boleh import satu-satu episod pun boleh <coughs> okey episod 1 quest 1 episod 1 quest 2 episod 1 quest 3 okey kita boleh import eh. sebagai contoh kita import yang ni kita import ke dalam kita punya class okey <coughs> dia dah so dia dah buatkan quest tu kita boleh uh, customize ikut kita punya okey so e1 q1 the lost pride So, kita klik uh, byte to byte. Okay, import this quest. Okay. <coughs> Nampak tadi ya, saya klik ni. Byte to byte, import this quest. Okay, kalau kita nak guna Google Class, okay, kita sebab saya tak ada Google Class kan, so kita just click import every objective as a regular task. Okay, kita klik sini je. Okay, dia terus dah setkan um, kita, uh, quest untuk kita. Uh, sorry, dia setkan uh, objective for every quest untuk kita. So, daripada sini, kita boleh customize. Ha? For example, kita dalam ni, okay. Introduction biasanya tak ada apa-apa. <coughs> introduction ni, uh, contoh story. Okay, ni story dia bermula. A day has passed, bla bla bla, do do do. Okay, student kadang-kadang uh, ada student yang interested dengan benda-benda macam ni, story ni. Okay, lepas tu kita boleh set uh, XP. Daripada sini pun kita dah boleh reward XP kepada student. Sebagai contoh macam ni kosong sebab tak ada apa-apa perlu buat just baca cerita. Tetapi we can create, uh, we can give them XP. For example, 20 XP. When the student just click this one, they already uh, awarded 20 XP. Okay. 
<coughs> so yang uh, untuk yang the next objective you can create lah macam yang saya uh, tunjuk tadi you can create the task like this okay tulis lah so water blah 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 then uh, you can put a video here you can put an image you can put a link if you want to link it with the elip and so on and then the setting is you can set whether it's a uh, uh, set space or not you can en enable the assignments or not we, you can allow the discussion if you click discussions here there will be you know the 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 the, the, the bar will be appear here so the students can participate in the discussion okay and then um you boleh ni lah maknanya you boleh create the based on your plan maybe untuk ni untuk satu lu okay untuk satu lu saja okay untuk, lepas tu you boleh import the episode 1 q2 pula untuk lu yang seterusnya okay jadi um masa masa dah terlebih 15 minit Uh, sorry for uh, taking your time uh, actually uh, mungkin kita boleh buat lagi uh, kelas kalau nak betul-betul kita explore uh, but this one is a very quick class eh? uh, very uh, very short seimbas pan, uh, sekali imbas um, I hope uh, uh, semua dapat manfaat dengan apa yang ditunjukkan mungkin tak cukup kot tetapi um, Uh, we can explore eh? sebab dalam kelas raf ni dia ada banyak video, dia ada banyak guide, guides, dia ada banyak um, uh, tools that we, um, that can re, can be used. It's very easy, very handy. Uh, I hope maybe you can one uh, boleh guna lah untuk uh, kelas anda nanti. Okay, itu saja dari saya. Uh, thank you so much. If you have question, maybe you can. I'm not sure whether you can ask it uh, here or if we don't have time, maybe you can ask me later. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Saya kembalikan kepada host. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Nasheruddin. Very nice. It's interesting. Memang menarik lah. Okay. Ada soalan daripada Dr. Densi sebab rasanya Dr. Densi uh, send privately to me dan uh, Cik Nasrah tak dapat tengok. Uh, apa? Castle is in U US. Uh, sell in Malaysia. So that's what Dr. Densi said. Sell ni apa ya Dr. Densi? <laughs> Castle ni uh, collaborative for academic, social and emotional learning. I'm not sure we, uh, kita ada ke kat Malaysia uh, dia punya because uh, kalau kita tengok castle ni dia ni dia apa ni dia macam organisation hmm. uh, tapi uh, dia, ada, dia ada banyak terms lah sebab tu uh, I'm not really familiar sangat dengan terms-terms macam ni tapi dia lebih kepada uh, uh, academic, social and emotional learning Okay, and then the one uh, feedback from Dr. Densi juga, class graph is basically a scoreboard. Macam tu lah kan? Uh -huh. Yes. So for me, it's not only scoreboard. It's like uh, where a student can get uh, the story, information. The the problem is tak ada tempat nak submit. Yeah. Itu so, so saja. Yeah, betul. Sebab tu <laughs> saya dah bagi tahu tadi dalam... Uh, dalam saya punya penjelasan tu dia dia bukannya macam elip dia bukannya database where we can upload uh, everything is just um well we can just ya, macam platform je lah hmm. ha, itu tak boleh <coughs> uh, upload assignment semua cuma ini boleh membantu uh, dari segi uh, enhance student participation sebenarnya uh. So tu tu jelah kelemahan mungkin bukan kelemahan lah it's like um, features dia macam tu. Okay. Okay, uh, maybe ada yang nak bertanya soalan kepada Cik Nasa tentang ni nak nak menggunakan class craft ke? Uh, okay, ada soalan daripada Puan Amira Cik Nasa. Can we use class craft as a platform for FRC component for challenge based? 
FRC. Future ready. Uh, uh, future uh, ready curriculum. Uh. Saya rasa boleh rasanya. Tapi. Um, <coughs> can you give the situation? So I think the challenge base. So. Uh, saya tengok letak IFA for children to base Sepada, Tapi kalau tak silap saya Benda ni boleh lah because kita Game ni kan satu challenge kan So they need to do it Either challenge in group atau challenge Individually based on the quest that we Set So this platform actually can be used for Yes to as well. Because if, if, if you see that In the class craft there are eight Tools that can be used Um, macam yang saya tunjuk awal-awal tu kan dia ada tools um, so that tools we can use as part of the challenge as well gunanya okay so I missed one question earlier okay the tendency asked what are the setbacks using this program I mean uh, class of uh, tools to do some activities, especially to those who are staying in areas with unstable connections. Okay. Uh, kita, kalau, kalau class craft ni, okay, dia ada dalam, uh, we can use it online uh, in the, kita punya computer, dan kita juga boleh download um, Class craft ni uh, sebagai apps di dalam kita punya phone. Okay, secara uh, jujurnya, okay, class craft ni uh, dia punya uh, grafik dia sangat uh, agak nak kata tinggi sangat tak lah dia is uh, well when the internet when there are internet connection problem. Okay, it will, uh, it's not really majorly affect the the quality but it will give some effect lah. Um, tetapi setakat yang saya uh, mengajar student saya sebelum ni, okay, uh, one or two students, they also experience this kind of problem, masalah internet. Um, tetapi itu bergantung kepada uh, kita lah sebenarnya. Kalau, let's say lah, kalau students tu, uh, they got the problem in completing the task, everything um, due to the internet connection, okay, we can uh, communicate with them, maybe we can uh, give more time for them to complete the task. Uh, sebabnya, uh, class craft ni, okay, dia, I admit, dia ada, dia punya grafik tu agak um, tinggi, okay, dia high definition punya uh, uh, platform. Uh, tetapi benda tu kita boleh adjust dengan students lah. Uh, so far uh, memang ada masalah. Uh, ada beberapa student kata internet connection problem. Tetapi uh, kalau ada berlaku contoh kalau dia hantar, uh, kalau dia complete the task for example and then tiba-tiba ada sudden connection problem. Uh, based on my experience dia tak akan efek apa-apa lah di dalam game tu. Uh, satu lagi kelemahan dia um, Dari segi um, The differences between Paid and free versions lah Okay, the paid and free version Kalau paid version, dia ada gold piece Okay, student dia Biasanya dia excited sangat dengan gold piece ni Sebab dia nak uh, design Dia punya uh, Dia punya characters ataupun avatar tu kalau kita tak uh, kalau kita tak guna yang paid version okey dia akan ada very limited gold pieces uh, biasa dia akan bagi 500 gold pieces pada awal-awal game tu dan kemudian uh, tak dapat dah gold pieces tu jadi itu adalah limitation lah tapi kalau ikutkan pengalaman saya uh, student tak kisah a uh, Student tak kisah kalau tak ada uh, gold pieces tu as long as they can level up. Okay, if we reward them with the experiences after they complete the task, they got the experience, then they can level up. So, uh, itu pun bagi student dah bagus lah. Saya rasa tu saja uh, jawapan saya kot. Okay, so... Ada siapa ada soalan soalan lain untuk kelas craft atau untuk elite tadi 
Oh video. Oh untuk we video. Sesiapa yang nak guna we video, uh, boleh email saya lepas ni. Supaya saya akan request kaum untuk bagi full access untuk guna we video. Okay, so kalau uh, tiada soalan lagi sebelum kita ber, apa nama, mengakhiri webinar uh, pada hari ini, so I share again the QR code for those who have not yet uh, scan for the QR code. And okay, so itu saja dari kami berdua pada hari ini. Okay, itu saja konsian uh, our sharing for today. If you have any more question after this, I will share the this uh, link to all of us to look back or maybe to ask more uh, means uh, maybe some of you missed the earlier part so you can listen back and okay so that's all from us thank you very much for coming assalamualaikum and selamat tengah hari eh, selamat pagi thank you bye bye thank you congratulations to all thank you very much Thank you. Hebat para dengan Nasa. Thank you, thank you. Well done, keep it up.